Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. Crypto has been declared that countless time. Every major crash begin, brings fear, confusion, and the same familiar headlines predicting the end of digital assets. Yes, despite repeated collapses in price, crypto continues to exist, rebuild, and expand its role in the global financial system. This raises a fundamental question if crypto. If crypto is so risky, volatile, and unstable, why does it keep surviving every cash crash? The answer is not hype, speculations, or short-term market cycle. The real reason is a structural, global, and largely invisible to the public. To understand crypto's resilience, we must move beyond price chart and look at what crypto actually is, how it operates, and why it's continue functionally even even when markets collapse, crypto was designed to operate without trust. Traditional financial systems are built on trust in institutions, bank, government, and payment processor act as intermediaries. When trust breaks, system freeze, crypto was designed to remove the need for trust. Blockchain networks operate based on mathematics, cryptography, and consensus. Transactions are valuable. Validated by distributors, participants, no centralized authorities. Once a block is confirmed, it cannot be altered without controlling the majority of the network. This design creates a system that does not depend on public confidence to function. Even during market crashes, block continues to be produced, transactions continue to settle, wallet continue to operate, smart contracts continue executing. A system that does not rely on belief cannot collapse imply because Sentiment turns negative. Price volatile does not equal system failure. One of the biggest micro conceptions about crypto is the assumption that price represents health. In reality, price represents a fluctuation. The core, the core infrastructure of crypto operates independently from market valuation. A blockchain does not stop producing block because it tokens price drops. Validators do not stop validating. Transactions because media coverage turns negative. This separation between price and functionality is critical. In traditional finance, price crashes often signal institutional weakness in crypto price. Crashes often signal fluctuative assets being removed. The system remains. Decentralization eliminates single points of failure. Centralized systems fail when a key entirely fails, a bank can collapse, a government can restrict access, a payment network can freeze accounts, crypto network have no central controller. They are distributed across thousands of nodes, multiple jurisdictions, independent operators, open sources, contributors. This makes coordinated showdowns extremely difficult. No single country, corporations, or authority can turn off a global decentralized network. Even when individual platforms fail, the underlying blockchain continues running. This is one of the most powerful reasons crypto survived repeated crisis. Crypto has shifted from saturation to a utility. In its early years, crypto was largely saturated. People bought tokens, swapping price with price. Over time, this change crypto evolved into functional infrastructure used for cross-border payments, stablecoin settlement, digital ownership, decentralized finance, tokenized assets, permissionless financial assets. During crash crashes, fluctuators exist, but user remains people using crypto for real world purposes do not stop because prices fall. Utility driven systems are far more resilient than fluctuating bubbles. Global demand drives continuous usage. Crypto is not confined to a single economy. It operates globally 24 7 horse without borders. Across the world, crypto is used for transforming value without intermediaries, assess assessing financial services without banks, protecting assets from currency instabilities, participating in global digital markets. This Global distribution creates constant baseline demands even if one region experiences a decline, others continue usage. A globally distributed ecosystem does not collapse uni uh, uniformly. Crashes remove big projects, not the system. Every crypto crash follows a similar pattern. Overhead, over leveraged projects fail. Unsustainable business models collapse. Fluctuated hype disappears. What remains is core infrastructure, long term developers, serious builders, real world use cases. This cleansing effect strengthens the ecosystem over time, allowing traditional markets where failure often led to 
consolidations under central control, crypto failures led to decentralizations and rebuilding. It crash removes the sets and reinforces fundamentals. Open source developments never stops. Crypto developments does not depend on market cycle. Developers continue building regardless of price. Protocol upgrades, scalability, improvements, security, and transmit interoperability solutions. Open source communities are motivated by long term vision, not short term price movement. This continuous development ensures that when market recover, the technology is stronger than before. Institutional and structural integrations is increasing despite volatility. Crypto is increasingly integrated in the global system. Payment infrastructure, financial experimentations, digital assets, custody, settlement, layers, institution measure during count. Downturns, but they do not abandon infrastructure development. Crypto is gradually be- becoming part of the global financial backbone, not a separate cultivated experiment. Physical, physic- uh, psychological cycles are predictable. Systems are not human behavior is clinical, cyclical, fear, greed, panic, and euphoria repeat in every market cycle. Crypto prices blow these emotional waves. But system do not operate on emotion blockchains, execute code, valid, validate transactions and maintains concerns regardless of psychological cycle. This mismatch between emotional markets and mechani- uh, mechanical systems ensures survival. People spanning the system continues. Crypto survives because it solves structural problems at its core. Crypto addresses fundamental issues, trust and minimizations, borderless value transfer, financial inclusion. Censorship, resistance, programmable money, problems of this case do not disappear because price falls has long has these problems. This solution addressing them will continue to be built, used, and, def- and refined. The client truth about crypto crashes. Crypto does not survive because people believe in it. Crypto survives because it operates independently. It is globally distributed. It is structurally resilient. It provides real utility. It has no cent- central failure point. Crashes are not sign of death. They are street test. And every every time crypto survives a crash, it proves that it is not a temporary trend but is the resident systems. Persistent systems evolving through cycle. Final thought: Most people focus on price and miss the system. Those who understand the system stop fearing volatility and start analyzing structure. Crypto survival is not loud; it is quite continuous and mathematical, and that it is why keep surviving every crash. If you want more research-based content on global crypto systems and digital transformations, subscribe to the channel. Stay informed and stay ahead.